What's up guys, this is TBZ uh, with Crispy. Yeah, still here. All right, and um, this is stage two video, guys. So basically what we got, um, we've inserted the motherboard, um, which obviously is the, right there where you can see it. We've got our G-Skill RAM right there, and we've got the wireless network adapter installed as well. And we've got both our hard drives, uh, the solid state and the uh, standard five, 500 gig hard drive there. Um, and Crispy is going to go into a bit more detail about the process. Yeah, alright, so as you see, uh, we decided to go with a 3.5 inch bay. Um, you'll notice that it's standard with normal hard drives, it's the standard bay, slides in and out, really easy management. We've done the same with our solid state. Um, you'll notice over here is actual one for a uh, solid state um, S SD bay, but we decided to chuck it in 3.5 inch, 3 .5 inch uh, easy access, really, you know, keep everything in the one spot. Uh, if you just come around here, TBZ, um, so you can see our disk bay, um, disk drive bay in there, so it just slots in from the front, um, quite easy to do, we can show you that at the end. Um, we get to do our cable management, so don't give us a hard time. <laughs> um, anyway, I'll just give you a quick uh, overview of installing the motherboard. Um, so, what you'll notice is it sits, uh, you'll have your little two gold adapt uh, gold um like, plated screws yeah gold yeah. plated screws there um you can definitely plug them in but you'll know that it's set up right when those two are facing through uh, as when you can see them it will be just kind of sitting above the case um get a bit of airflow back through there uh you'll know that we went through and uh, did the we only did them uh four or five um you don't need much more than that like how you know yeah i mean the, you don't need any more than the four or five screws to hold it down yeah. it's very secure um, as you, well, you yeah. can't really see it's that, but it is, it's very stable, um, and it's, yeah, you don't really need any more of those screws, so. Definitely, um, and just be wary, guys, when you're screwing them in, don't do one super tight and then move on to the next one, just kind of work them all in at the same time, uh, being very careful not to crack the motherboard, if you just, it's not like, uh, putting together your Ikea chair or anything like that, you don't <laughs> want to just go as hard as you can, um, you just want to be gentle, uh, you obviously you paid a bit of money for this, so, you know, just look exactly. after it. Um, RAM, pretty standard. It looks really nice and shiny, uh, pretty cool heatsink there, it's G-Skill. Um, they slot right in, pretty standard, uh, you won't have any trouble with that. If you just come around here, TBZ, um, you see we've got a, <laughs> his uh, wireless adapter in here. Uh, yep. Nice little two antenna setup, uh, nothing too great about that. And your I.O. Um, basically board, just all the stuff that plugs in, USB 3, quite nice there. Yep. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that's about it. What we'll be doing next is the graphics card. So um, they'll be going into one of these uh, PCR slots here. We'll also be bringing you the uh, CPU um, and cooling system. However, the cooling system will be done in a separate video. Yep. Uh, number three, just giving you a bit more information about why we chose it, uh, how to go about because it does require a bit more effort than a, like a heat fan sync. Yeah, just a little. Yeah, so uh, keep watching. Uh, we'll cut back to you after we've installed the graphics card and the CPU oh, and the uh, power supply down here. Um, you'll notice uh, it's actually come, this case came with a uh, filter just for dust. Um, really nice yep. little extension here. Uh, these rubber points, um, yeah, because this is where the fan for the power supply comes in. Um, so the air will be trying to flow through here. This is just a dust filter. You obviously don't want any dust getting your power supply. Uh, it will not be good for it. That won't be the best thing. Yep. Um, otherwise, that's um, where we're up to at this point. We're about halfway in terms of building the PC itself. Um, and basically, anyway, through the video, if you guys do have an issue like, oh, Crispy, how'd you go about doing this? Um, leave it in the comments. I'll give you detailed, you know, description. Uh, it just, I just want to meet kind of a standard. I don't want to go through super detailed um, explanations of everything and have some of our viewers just go, what? Why is he? Why is he doing this? Yeah. It's such a standard. Like, I know how to put in RAM. You know, these clips, like whatever. But. Um, yeah, should be good. Anyway, we'll catch you guys uh, when we get back with the graphics card and CPU and power supply. Yeah. Hey guys, alright, so now just letting you know we have the CPU is now installed. Um, we've got the graphics card which is also installed um, and the power supply obviously is in there and um, once again going to have to fix up a cable management but we have done our best at this point. Yeah, so far we've got the cable management. They're all trying to push through on the other side. It looks just like mayhem. Um, we got some more SATA cables to put in uh, into the SATA 3. So these two will be SATA 3, but our drive bay was a SATA 2. Um, yep, yeah, so we got the graphics card. We're going to try and do some cable management. Um, but basically, this is all your main components in. Now, um, just bear with me for a second. What the i5 comes with is a stock cooling fan. Uh, you'll see here. Um, yeah, so that would usually sit on the CPU right there, 
Bam. Um, obviously the liquid cooling that we're about to install um, will replace, replace it. it. Yeah. So um, much better. Anyway, what's going to happen is we're going to mount the radiator and fan on the top one here. So plenty of room to do it. Um, but yeah, but this is just uh, the end of uh, video two. Basically the main components of uh, the computer all in place um, regardless of cable management. Yeah, well we'll work on that. But last thing um, that we do have to put in is the liquid cooling which we're going to do a separate video for um, installation. Yeah, it'll just be a quick video showing you. Um, it is a bit tricky. It's not like, um, it's an all-in-one system. System, um, so the H60 uh, Corsair, basically it's for those people that want more than air cooling but don't want to go with a whole system such as like a pump, radiator, um, like reservoir, it's all in one, all comes filled up with liquid, it's pretty much plug and play but we'll still run you through it because it's a lot harder to install than just clipping that on and ready to go. Alright. Yep, so okay. we'll see you again in video three. Yeah, we'll see you in video three guys. Stay tuned.